Hello, my name is Steve Faulkner and welcome to Real Magic Review. Today we're going to be reviewing Glenn Morphew's POV Magic Academy, uh, specifically his six phase ring routine and his rubber dub vanish suite. That's been a bit of a mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> and that last bit I just said nearly was as well. Um, so uh, first of all, like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. Please actually do that. It won't take long and it'll be lovely if you go and have a look at it. Cardmagiccourse.com, read the testimonials. It's really good, but don't take my word for it. Um, have a look and sign up for your free spread cold course, which has just instantly had a review on the, oh God, it's right, it always comes out wrong. The People's Palace of Prestigitation. Prestidigitation. I'm oh, sorry. I, I can't get that work. I've, I've been saying it for years. It's still going out right. But it's a um, Discord server and I've partnered with them. Basically, the reviews go on there when they get posted on here so people can watch them. And there's a channel, uh, a, way, a lounge where you can discuss the channel and ask me questions as well. And I'll be popping in and out there. So have a look at that. All the links below will be uh, below, down uh, below. I've just said that, but you know what I mean. So have a look at the links. That's the key. Uh, and thanks for them to, for doing that. Um, right, oh, I'm so pleased to be talking about this. So Glenn got in touch with me a while ago, sent me a nice message just say, and said, you know, I'd love to, you to have a look at my stuff. Uh, I understand if you can't review it and you're busy and all that. And and, uh, and I said, of course I will, Glenn. And I, I remembered I'd watched um, his years ago, when in the early days of Vanishing, when they started doing downloads. You know, Vanishing was, was some of the, I know people were doing downloads, but they were some of the first to really be out there doing it, in, in my memory anyway. Um, and one of them was this, uh, this Rubber Dub Vanish and, um, by Glenn Morphew, and it just looked so good. And I remember getting it, I bought it, and, and, and started learning it, uh, and did sort of learn it, and um, but kind of did, when I went through my wilderness years, kind of forgot it and went back to the old Rubber Dub Vanish and thought, well, it's the same, it's easier, and I, I kind of can remember the subtleties and stuff. Because I never really mastered it, didn't put loads of time into it. And, oh, I'm so glad I've come back to this now because I'd forgotten how good this thing is. You've got to have a look at it. I'll, I'll put a, a cut uh, in of the of the rubber dub vanish anyway from this suite, and it is an updated version. It's got better camera angles on it and more on it. Um, uh, he's obviously put gone into a little bit more depth and, and a few different ways of using it. So that's that. And then he's got the six phase ring routine. Which is, I mean, I love a ring. We all do, don't we? Because the idea of just either having a ring on, taking it off and doing a routine with it, or borrowing a ring and doing a routine with it, or like me, uh, I've got a wedding ring that I don't actually wear anymore. <laughs> but I do get out to practice magic tricks with and do magic tricks with, and it's great. It's similar to one that I would borrow. Uh, and I know a lot of people would say, oh, I don't borrow a ring for that. But if it's stuff that you really feel safe with and you're not going to drop, and I, I borrow a ring for a ring flight and all that, and it's totally fine. I've had a couple of disasters, but no real disasters. Um, and I'm very lucky uh, to be able to say that because I've heard stories. But, so this is a six phase ring routine, as he says, and uh, I'll go through each of the, 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 not each of the phases, each of the downloads ind individually, but quite quickly, because I don't want to be here forever. But basically, it's a very commercial routine. He, what he says he's done is, he, some of the routines that are out there were very, very sort of, um, tough you know they were they were sort of knuckle busting there were some moves that were really difficult and he, he found some of them difficult so he kind of simplified them but in that simplification i don't think there's been any loss of strength all the phases of this routine are fairly easy they're, they're going to take work it's sleight of hand magic which is why i love it you know there's there's no gimmicks on mechanics and i love that as well but i love i'm a real pure sleight of hand person and i love the fact that it's just one ring nothing else and straight from the beginning it's it's just great he's got this really lovely penetration um, which is quite difficult to do actually. That's probably the hardest bit. It's kind of the easiest to do, but the hardest to make it look convincing. But again, not not knuckle busting, but just knacky. And then um, he, he, every every I'm not going to go through each phase, but just there's a lot of stuff that he's credits and you've seen before. The Garrett Thomas from the ring thing. He's got that lovely thing where the ring just sort of appears on the finger. Um, he credits Devoe for a move again that he simplified from a more difficult version. Uh, May you did, and uh, and all these people, all these stuff, and again, this is, you know, he knows for well he's standing on the shoulders of giants of people that have come up with these moves, and he's just put them in a really palatable sequence, and he talks a lot about um, the economy of movement, that, you know, there's no kind of, everything makes sense in the routine, it flows from one thing to the other, and he's got a really conversational style about him, which I really like, and I remember it when he started teaching on this, I remember it from the early video that I watched on the, um, 
on the rubber dub vanish it's it's conversational in teaching but really thorough without having to go on and on about stuff like i sometimes do <laughs> might, might be now but it's um it's very very thorough and concise and you feel like you've got everything you don't feel like there are any more questions left after he's after he's taught everything and even goes into detail incidentally about what ring to buy where he gets his he gives you a link of where to buy and he says it's only seven bucks 99 for a ring like this and make sure it fits this and i think it's important it will be important for some people that that ring fits really well but i wouldn't worry too much about it mine doesn't anymore it's a bit loose on some fingers and it but it still works as a routine so if you have got one that doesn't quite fit and you think oh i can't practice until i bought another one i think you'll probably be okay but i love i'm not going to go into loads of detail but all i'll say because we've got two things to do, is that it's a really lovely routine. I've really enjoyed it. I love this vanish where it ends up on the little finger, like I, like I said. <laughs> and and, uh, and all of the things, the little flourishy roll down, which, as he said, isn't as difficult as it looks. There's a bit that looks like a kind of coin roll, but you don't have to be able to do a, uh, to be able to do a coin roll um, to be able to do that. It's all, it, none of it felt very, very difficult, and it all felt really joyous to do. So the second one was the rubber dub vanish. Everybody's a fan of the rubber dub vanish. It look, even in its most basic form, it looks brilliant. But this takes really does take it to another level, and it really is a case of taking a classic move and actually making it better rather than just saying you're making it better or just making it different. It looks, it's one of those things you know when you see a really good retention vanish. If you see like um, Danny Goldsmith doing something, even though you kind of know there's a vanish going on, you do kind of go, has he actually done it there or has he done one of those fakes and then he's going to do it? And it's like that. It just looks incredible. And way more to this than I thought, because yes, there's the actual vanish, but then there's a switch in it. There's a couple of switches, actually. There's a face-up vanish. There's a card to pocket. There are loads of really, really strong applications to this. An amazing card under box uh, and a two card transposition that just looks so good and it's a brilliant way of, of delaying the vanish as I said because when you do the rubber dub vanishes very soon afterwards that you have to kind of show it the hand empty but this kind of delays it and you don't show anything until much later and then so they don't backtrack and it just it's really really good he's got some ideas from other people there he's got a brilliant thing where you do the rubber dub vanish under someone else's hand uh, which he talks about again. I'm not going to go into the credit of the credit of this, but he, again, he credits everybody and he's had some help with a Ben Harris thing where he does a one handed uh, when he does a cop off the top of the deck. Uh, so you get really good grounding. The, these, the, they're short courses, I don't know how much they actually uh, run to, but I felt that because they're broken down into the different bits, it felt really, really good. It's used on a really good platform, uh, teaching platform which I really do like, and it's the same one I actually use myself, incidentally, for my card course. It just, it breaks it all up really, really nicely. Um, and I felt after each of them, like I said, I, it wasn't like, oh, I, was, I, I really enjoyed the process and felt like I got everything I needed to go and start working. And with both of these things, I can absolutely hand on heart say, even though my heart's not quite there, uh, <laughs> it's kind of over a bit, isn't it? Um, I say that I'm going to use this stuff in my working repertoire. There is no way I'm not going to do this rubber dub vanish and that card under box thing. It's going straight in. That is going to, next time I do a gig, I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to be doing the ring stuff. Uh, so, you know, that's really high praise, not because I think I'm special, but for any magician to say this is going straight in is good. And you might not have seen Glenn's course. He's, there's three courses on here. I haven't yet done, I've looked at it briefly. The next one, which I am, of course, going to do, which is a one-handed top bun, because it's one of my favourite moves. But I wanted to do these two and get this review out, because I'm not going to get a chance to look at that till next week. And I think it's important that people know about Glenn's stuff. So do have a look. He does sell some more stuff. He sells some, um, some of Bob Sheets' stuff, almost I'm a massive fan of. Worked with Bob a couple of times. He's a, he's a bit like Glenn in the way that he looks for stuff and he knows what really, really works and, and kind of masters it with his free shell game. So um, Glenn does sell some of that stuff. Uh, and all the links again will be below but thanks Glenn for giving me that and thank you for again for getting me back you know we do lose it as professionals sometimes when when we're learning so much and we forget what it's like sometimes to sit down just with one thing and just hammer it and that man I've just I've been doing it today I've had such a great time with it uh, so check it out uh, please and thank you Glenn uh, and of course check out cardmagiccourse.com and of course like and subscribe and of course stay safe stay happy and any questions on the comments below would be lovely and of course you can come over to the uh, discord server the people's the link will be below take care bye bye